everybody and welcome to vlogmas day 23 yay that's two more days to go till the big day and so that also means it's christmas eve eve is that a thing is it is christmas eve eve a, a day jason i know you don't think it's a day you know um i, I can't ever remember it being called christmas eve eve um but let me know down below if you I think it is Christmas Eve Eve. Um, yeah, two more days to go. Not too bad. Um, today is the third day in a row that I will be going solo again. At least it doesn't well enough to be on camera, bless her. But yeah, obviously we all know that Advents take up quite a chunk of a Vlogmas episode. But uh, got to be done. Everyone loves a good Advent, so let's get cracking with mine. Dairy milk time, and I've only got two more windows left on this advent calendar, so they only go up to 24. It's 23. What a shame. I think the uh, Hotel Shuffle R ones are the same. That's behind this one. Santa's loading his sleigh. Yes, yes, he is. There we go. I don't know what smooch that is today, but let me just turn it over. No, it's not come out. It won't come out. Oh, by the way, last night I made these paper chains. As you can see in the background, I'm just deciding on where to stick them uh, in the living room. But uh, bought them from the works. Uh, but I did cheat their self adhesive. Uh, um, Pip chains. But this smoosh will not come out. There we go, that's better. And it is. Oh, actually. I can get hold of it. I think it's another elf. Yeah, we know where that's going. Hotel Chocola Caramel. Well, that was a fail. I dropped that. Ugh. 23. Surround yourself with good people and great chocolate. I totally agree. I like surrounding myself with good people. One of them is my wife. And it is... Santa Claus! Yay! So that's my advent done. I think it's the Disney Advents. Uh, Disney Bauble Advent next. Disney Baubles! Yay! So there's number 23. Don't worry, we will open the rest of these baubles at some point. And there's 23. Just covering it with my finger. I am so rubbish at opening these. Uh... Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, pop. And it is a. I don't know what kind of colour you'd call that. It's another pretty one. Very nice. Uh... Instead of pig vent, I'm going to do all the advents in the living room first, so I'm going to do Santi. Yeah, so where's 23 today? There it is. Oh, dear me. What's in today's drawer? And it is watch a Christmas film. Yay, so that means more Christmas films. We did watch some last night. Uh, yesterday we watched. Um, we watched Elf, Home Alone, and I think we also watched Santa, the, the Santa Claus, the Disney film. Um, I don't know what ones we'll watch today. I might even try and twist Natalie's uh, uh, arm to try and see if she can watch Home Alone 2, because that's my favourite. I do like that one purely because Tim Curry's in it and it's hilarious. Um, yes, that's roughly the plan today. Like, I can hear some weaking, weaking guinea pigs, so I think it's time to do 
big vent. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Are you excited? Are you hungry? Yeah, daddy, yeah. Day 23. Yeah. I've just thrown that in the cage. That went so well. What a great throw that was. Well, daddy's taken it. Taken out your treaties. Look, it's carrot sticks and apple sticks. There's one for you. Oh, wow. Take nicely. Take nicely, please. There's yours. There's yours. Let's move this there. Cute. And I can't forget about. Oh. The cucumber. Ready, three, two, one, and go. She's off. She's away. Here's yours. Oh, yeah, can't go in there, sweetheart. She's, oh, no, turn alive. You've made a move. How nasty. Right on cue, Mrs. Lucille wakes. You just like getting up for your adorning fans, don't you? Oh. We had a whimsy yesterday, so Daddy will have to search for the for your treaties. You just heard the commotion, didn't you? You heard food. You're all about the food. Oh. Bless you. Hello. E. Cute. Oh, what a rookie move. Daddy did not have the uh, treaty. Oh, he in there. Daddy did not have the treaties in his hand already. So he's had to go ahead, bend down and get them. But look, put them in the Santi hat. You're going to try and get in, get in and try and look for them. Not sure I should take them. They are in there. They're in the bottom. <laughs> She never uses this pouch, so I think she'll go in and possibly get them. I'm not sure. Oh, she's going. She's going. Yep, she smelt them. If she comes out with a full pouch, we know that she's got them. Yeah, I can hear her taking the bickies. She's got all. She's got them all. Oh, you got them all. He. Have you got them all? You finished? I think you have because I can see a full pouch right there. So you'll be pouching them and storing them in your yeah. your little house for later on. But there's your advent treaties. That's ham vent. There's no limit on yours. You can have uh, 25 days should you wish. It's just your sisters have only got 24 pouches. Bless them. <laughs> That's it sweetheart. Wasn't that many in? Ooh. Close up. <laughs> Don't forget to get my good side, Daddy. That's Advent done and dusted uh, for the morning. Um, now I need to quickly pop out to get something to help Natalie feel a bit better. Uh, just, just a quick errand and then when I come back I'm hopefully going to attempt to try and make some eggnog. Um, also, as well, last night we saw Nathan Staker's community project where we're up where, where ourselves and many other YouTubers in the community um, you all know who you are um, sang to the uh, popular Christmas song Merry Christmas Everyone by Shaken Stevens and wow wow honestly my hat goes off to Mr Staker for a for creating that masterpiece, it was superb. Um, you did a fantastic job of it, uh, well done. If you haven't already seen it, we'll put the link down below. Definitely worth going check to check out, watching everybody sing and dance. It's really, really worth the watch. But for now, as I can see, the battery is now dying. Excellent, I need to go and change the battery, so catch you in a bit. Hello, and welcome to the kitchen. So I'm gonna try and make some eggnog. Now, I've never made this before, 
Uh, I did have a recipe from the BBC food website, but that took two weeks to chill. And by that, that time, Christmas will be over. So I found a recipe online through Tesco. Uh, so I'll show you what it, the ingredients are. I'll leave the link down below for the Tesco uh, eggnog recipe. So what I've got here, it requires three egg yolks, some caster sugar, uh, in that glass is rum, it's Bacardi, or you can have bourbon in it. Uh, it says cinnamon stick, but I'm going to use some ground cinnamon. Uh, nutmeg is for just the dusting on top. Uh, and in there is plant-based Elmley, because myself and Natalie have a mild intolerance to lactose. Only a mild, it's not an allergy before anybody gets there. And in the pan is... And just gently heating with a bit of vanilla extract is some lacto-free milk. It says whole milk, but again, we've got an intolerance, so we're going to heat this up and uh, get it going. So I'll come back to you when it's starting to warm up a bit. So while that's heating, I'm going to combine the eggs and the caster sugar together and whisk them together while that's heating. Just get the egg yolks in, get it all in. Residual left. And it says to stir this until it's well combined. It's a bit of a noise on a plastic uh, boat. I might have a plastic boat. So combine all of that together. I think that's well combined. The next step will be to add the hot milk and the vanilla extract. Actually, tell you what, I've just missed something as well. The cinnamon needs to go into the milk mixture. So it's about a teaspoon according to the recipe, so I'll stick that in now. I just love when it doesn't come out fast. It's half a teaspoon. It's a full teaspoon of cinnamon. I know it says cinnamon sticks, but just stir that through. And you just want to bring it to the boil. You don't want to let it boil itself over. Once it immediately boils, then take it off and that should be added to the egg mixture. It's a bit of a palaver of a recipe, but it should be. It smells lovely. No, cinnamon and uh, vanilla extract. A lovely uh, festive smell. I don't know how this is going to go with lacto-free milk or plant-based uh, double cream, but we'll find out eventually. We've just got to bring that to the boil, so five hours later, there you go, it's just started to just boil, so I think we'll take it off the, the heat. Don't want it to go too mad, I'll leave it on because it, it's a bit of a process, go back and forth, so what we'll do, we'll add it to the egg mixture, whisk with the egg mixture. Go. Give it a nice whisk. Whisk that back together. Transfer it back to the pan in a minute. Because it needs to go back onto the hob. Again, and let it thicken. So we just say uh, put all the ingredients back in the pan on a low medium heat until thickened slightly. So I'm not sure how uh, what that might mean. I'm presuming it's till it's uh, 
thicky, thick sort of liquid, a little stiff maybe. But um, I did do some research while looking for this recipe. Um, I think a lot of people said that Advocar is sort of similar to eggnog because obviously you can't buy just ready-made eggnog in the UK. It's only a United, a United States thing. Um, but there's plenty of recipes out there. This one was probably the quickest. I can't. Don't think we could wait uh, two weeks until you to, to let that uh, cool down. But here's the mixture. It looks like Bailey's, doesn't it? So that shouldn't take too long from now. Don't think. So I think that's uh, pretty much thickened because uh, it almost. Uh, I took my eye for two seconds and it almost went. So milk and eggs. And Almost boiled over on my hog. But, chin chin, time to add the rum. 150 millilitres of rum. Here it goes. Now, let's check my phone for the recipe. It just says set aside for 20 to 25 minutes. So that I will do. Hopefully, the alcohol doesn't separate from the egg mixture. But I'll just leave it in the pan to cool. And then after that, it's a case of cooling it down in the fridge for about three hours so yeah that'll, uh, that'll be it for now so when you come back we'll be giving it a good old taste and hopefully fingers crossed it tastes all right right so the mixture is uh, the eggnog mixture has nearly cooled for three hours so while there's remaining time left I'm gonna whip the cream so I'm gonna whip and whisk it Night. Oh. oh, I've got it all on my jumper. That has gone so wet. Why can't I do anything without making a mess in the kitchen? I made a mess with the mold stuff, the mold line stuff. Pompous. Oh, be interesting to see if this plant stuff will turn out nice. I've got a wee try, it doesn't taste too bad, it's still got a double cream esque texture to it. it tastes okay. I don't know what made it again. But we'll be back to back with you when it's all been whisked. It's getting there, I've got to whip it until it's got some nice big soft stiff peaks. <laughs> oh god, just hurt your arm after a while. Probably the fact I'm severely unfit. It's getting there. Yep, I think it's uh, got there. You go, stiff peaks. There you go, looks like dream topping. Oh, love a bit of dream topping. Right now, this needs to go into the mixture to be folded in. So, just put it into the mixture. So, probably go the wrong way around. I'll use the spoon in a minute. And then it's ready to go. So, we're just going to fold all this in. I don't know if this looks anything like eggnog, but I'm sure to see. Looks really, really nice. Right, I think that's perfectly folded in now. So I'm just going to lay it a small glassful. Sorry, I'm in the way. Quick taster. Don't have too much. Go, oh, and I'll put a bit of nutmeg on top. Oops. Nice bit of nutmeg on top. And here we go. And taste test. I'm very nutmeg now. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I retract what I said, even though I thought, you know what, even though I've not tried it, I'm going to put it down as my worst Christmas drink. That's lush. Ooh. Cheers. So there you go, that is day 23 of Vlogmas done. 
and my third day of going solo. Hopefully tomorrow, fingers crossed, Natalie will be well and able enough to feature with me on camera. Yeah, bless her. Been looking after her today and of course running around as well with it being Christmas Eve Eve. But uh, yeah, managed to make some eggnog and turned out I actually like it. Awesome. Really, really nice. I do love me rum. I think I am turning you know, turning into a bit of a pirate. Arr. <laughs> Unfortunately today we didn't get the gingerbread house done, so that'll be tomorrow. The IKEA gingerbread house will be tomorrow. Um, we have managed to watch a few Christmas films as well. So I'm going to leave this vlog here today. We're going to just chillax, eat some food, just snuggle on the couch for the rest of the evening. So leave it there and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!